Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WAW Aftermath! We are just weeks away from Doomsday. Now, coming to the ring from Hell, Michigan, the Raging Demon and your 2014 Hall of Famer, your WAW President, Carnage! Here comes Carnage. Oh, music. Hold on. I think the production truck is. Never mind. There we go. I don't know. Someone's. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Henry. All right, again, yeah, welcome to WAW, everyone. Just a few weeks away from Doomsday, we got great matches planned for tonight. that will set the tone for Doomsday. Let's go over some of the matches we got playing, huh? First, we got Shane White the second. Unfortunately, does not have an opponent. So, tonight, we are going to have a number one contenders match pitting two former pure champions against each other. Andreas Reyes and Delilah Hayden. Winner will become number one contender face Shane White Jr. at Doomsday. We also got the team match on the line as the Disciples of Evil will face Saipa in a match of their choosing. But uh, due to their shenanigans over the last weeks, or just in general, I think we would actually make some fair play here. So I pitted Saipa and DOE against each other in singles competition tonight. And I'm gonna have Saipa decide the stipulations for those singles matches and see how DOE likes that. Yeah. Also we have tonight the main event, Dirty Dan Ruckus will be teaming up with Rocco and they will be facing the team of Chris Shady and Pyro. That's going to be a barn burner of a match right there. Unfortunately, with all the good stuff that's come, there is some bad news as well. And this is some serious news. Uh, the WAW champion, Kevin Giles, has actually suffered a very serious shoulder injury. He cannot compete tonight, and he cannot compete through Doomsday. Oh, no shots. So, by doctor's orders, I am out here to publicly announce that Kevin Giles is officially stripped of the WAW Championship due to not being able to comply with contract and obligations as the WAW Champion. Oh my god, so, I could dance, I could! With that being said, I would. Kevin Giles would like to personally relinquish the belt oh my god. as a fighting champion as he is, and would like to address the WAW Dojo. So please, Kevin Giles, come to win. Settle down, Buck. Everything I ever wanted. Settle down, Buck. Kevin Giles. Have some respect, man. The man is injured. God damn that. This crowd giving him a standing ovation. He doesn't look too happy at all. He still has legs, Buck. You know, some guy thinks he's tough.
first and foremost, are in love. No, I'm sorry. When I started here four years ago, I started here because of you. All of your teachings, all of your training, never once prepared me for having to do this. So, as my trainer, I'm sorry for letting you down. I am a fighting champion. I've always been a fighting champion. Three times. Three times. Three times I've been the face of this company. Whether you've liked me or you've hated me, everything we've ever done in this ring has been for the people that show up here week in and week out. That's you guys. Whether you're the first time showing up or you've been showing up for years, for the last 18 years, we functioned as a company because of people like you, because of people like Chateau Bannigan, because of people like Henry, because of people like Carnage. Uh, <clears throat> second miss somebody? Not you, Buck. Oh, come on. Unfortunately, in a match against Derek Simonetti, title versus title, I suffered a shoulder injury where the doctors are telling me that it's possibly a torn labrum tissue in my shoulder to keep my joint held together. And for that reason, I have to relinquish the title. You people think that what we do is easy, that we're trained to take a fall. We're not. The pain is very real. Everything we do is very real. It may not seem it, but it is. I wouldn't be telling you this, standing here in a sling, if I was lying to you. So with that being said, you guys deserve a fighting champion. Somebody that can be here week in and week out and defend this title. And unfortunately, right now, I cannot be that champion. So Carnage. December 3rd, 2016. We get a picture of this. I officially vacate the championship to you. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, this is so disrespectful, Chad. Gee whiz. It is disrespectful. This is a moment right now. The man is trying to give up his title because of injury. Production truck needs to get on there. Seriously? What a sweet day this is. for who? For the number one contender. That's who. So I am the number one contender for that title. Hallelujah. And I am supposed to be fighting this man at Doomsday. So the way that I see it, that title rightfully belongs to me. Absolutely! I want that title now. Oh my god, he just dropped on his minute shots. Kind of gonna hand it over to Puma. I don't think that's what's gonna happen. You really want it this way. I want it whatever way I can get it. Backstreet boy style. Despite despite everyone arguing about this is Technically, he's, not, he's right. Oh, this is the best day ever, Shaz. What? The only contender. Oh my god, I wish I could do it. The only number one contender for the title. That is the music of JT Lambo. JT Lambo's got something to say. So, Puma, you know, I've been kind of biding my time, playing around, going into the Apocalypse Tournament, going into the Hellbound match, which, I'll give you your props, you beat me, you beat me right in the middle of this ring. But I'll tell you something, Puma, I was going for four years. I've been waiting for this for a long time. See, I was the Annihilation Champion four years ago, and I never got my title shot. Do you know what that means, Puma? It means 
I'm sitting on a contract right now that says that's my title. So sit on that for four years? You can do that? And if you want, if you want to call that your title, Puma, then you have to come through me. You have to come through my kicks. You have to come through everything I throw at you. You just gotta keep coming. Well, I guess that means there's now two number one contenders to the WWE Championship. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to make it official now. No, I'm just so pleased he's here. No, 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 I gotta make it official. I'm WWE president here. I gotta do it. It's getting heated here right now. No, no, I wanna say this. Puma JT for the for the vacated WWE championship at Tuesday. It is officially. There you have it, folks. As you can see... Oh, no. but wait, wait, wait. There's going to be more. Cut the music. Oh, Please cut the music. I feel like you two should have some type of a warm-up match tonight. So, with that being said, I feel you should be team action. JT, you will team up with... Well, we'll just say you can team up with an opponent of your choosing or a partner of your choosing. You too, you can team up with a partner of your choosing. I think you do. And right now, I think you could really use a friend. What comes to mind, uh, his name is Chris Shady. Oh, I think you burned that bridge way too early. See if you can go backstage and find yourself a friend. He's a bad type of guy. Should be yours, Puma. No, it shouldn't. Absolutely. Well, we'll we'll see. We'll see if he deserves it. No, 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 no. I don't think so. That could be your future right there. That could be your future champion. Good luck, JT. Both could be the future. In the meantime, let's get the rest of these matches on the road. Um, I feel like. Oh. I think I'm gonna ref the first part of the night. What? You two. You two are. Well, there you have it, folks. As you can see, the main event for Doomsday has changed up. We now have a new, uh, we have a new main event. We, we're, we're probably going to see JT Lambo. Probably. Or, probably. Official. Uh, excuse me, official. JT Lambo. I should say probably. This is Big Money Puma for the Big Candid WAW Championship. Doomsday. I can't believe it, folks. I cannot believe it. You're also, uh, we'll, 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 we're gonna have a great night tonight because we got Thomas Andrews. He's gonna take on Eva Lee. That's gonna be great. Derek Conway is gonna take on Dave Destro. You've got Dirty Dan Ruckus teaming up with Rocco. We're gonna face Chris Shady and Pyro. And also, folks, Andreas Reyes, for the first time ever, is going to face Delilah Hayden. First time ever. And it's for the number one contendership for the pure title, and they will face Shane at Doomsday, well, whoever the winner is. They never fought each other before. They've started it's 08. Never fought. And, it's and, crazy. and as you just heard, Puma, uh, gonna have a mystery partner, gonna be facing JT Lambo, uh, with a partner of his choosing. We don't know who they're gonna pick, but it's gonna be one hell of a match when it happens. So folks, let's take it to Henry and start this awesome night. Let's take it to Henry. Ladies and gentlemen, our opening contest scheduled for one fall with a 15-minute time limit. 15 minutes! This is our first half of our Disciples of Evil Saipa one-on-one match. Coming to the ring, he is the Devil's Child, who now hails from the dark side of hell, Evil E. Evil E making his way to the ring. Looking, uh, looking pretty confident going into this. He's going to be facing. One of the strongest men in WAW. 
Thomas Andrews. Like both these men, the powerhouses of their team, going head to head. This is going to be physical. And if you haven't been catching up with WAW lately, Evil E has been teaming up with Dave Destro. They are the disciples of evil. And they're looking to get, capture the team gold from Saipa. Massachusetts, always ready to go. One half of your team champion, Saipa, Thomas Andrews. These teams have been going back and forth lately, hoping to capture the, well, Disciples of Evil are hoping to capture the gold. Saipa finally captured the gold from Spanish Castle Magic. And now they've been on a roll since. But we are seeing singles action. Oh, oh. He's that strong. He blows over entire sets. He's walking by him. for this match is that the teams of Saipa get to choose what kind of match they're having tonight. So, Thomas, what's it gonna be? Alright. Stipulation for this match. Drum roll, please. Evilly. Armed robbery. Match. He got his. He obviously got his memory robbed just now. Match, which means they have to do their opponent's finisher on each other to win the match. This is a WWE exclusive match. I'm not gonna see it here. Very yeah, I have not seen it anywhere else. Stipulation. You have to use your opponent's finisher to win the match. This will be very interesting to see these two lock up right now, being, as you said earlier, the strongmen of their team. Starting off with a test of strength. There we go, Michael Roman knuckle lock, both men colliding. So far, it's very even. Oh, very even indeed. Now one was able to get one over the other on this. Well, a few people that weren't blown away, but now it's Andrew. Oh, Evil E. Trying to fake him out and then go after him. Thomas Andrews now. Hammerlock, uh, headlock into Hammerlock now. Transitioning with ease. Off Wait the... a minute, she's on the ropes. Oh, man. What a shoulder block indeed. The incredibly intense Evil E. Oh, man. What a clothesline. From Evil E on to Thomas Andrews. One. Oh, my God. Nasty spine buster from Evil E. Oh, Andrews never felt anything like this. Evil E. Wait a minute. Up on the shoulders. We'll be going for the voice press already. Thomas Andrews able to get out of it. Pushed him off. Now up. Now Evil E up on Thomas Andrews' shoulders. Evil E gets out of it. Oh, it looks like he's, uh, Thomas Andrews holding his back. Must be that spine buster he just got. Driving his shoulders into the sternum. He hasn't done much to him yet. I must feel like he's been in a half hour long match with somebody else. Oh my god. What a combination move there. Again, all to that lower back. No pen fall. Really just pounding on his face. I get this new mask that he was wearing. I decided one day, eh, I'm wearing a mask. Wow, oh, nice move there by Evil E. Most everything he's doing is all to the back of Thomas Andrews. He's well, making it incredibly difficult for Andrews to give up on his shoulders. Jawbreaker, trying to come back. 
trying to gain control. Clothesline, not able to knock Evil E down. You know, you might be right on uh, the strategy here with Evil E. Evil E going after the back of uh, Thomas Andrews. I mean, you can't lift much when your back's out. I've seen it many times before. Many times before. Elbows to the back. Make sure he drops them. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Oh yeah. my god. K flex right in front of the carnage. Of course, Carnage has the ref saying he thinks he does it better. What a great guy. Just making an observation. I mean, whatever. Good for you, Carnage. Someone does your move. Right, Whip it in the corner. He's falling them in. Oh, man. What a clothesline into the corner. Thomas Andrews, don't let up, Val. Oh. Oh, man. Wow, did you see him drive that knee right into the gut? Stopped him in his tracks. Oh. oh. Landing on his uh, his back now. Again. Again. The non stop onslaught. Believe Oh, he's going for the kill blow here. He can go for that boy supremacy. Wait a minute. Oh, man. I don't know if you noticed, but Thomas Andrews having a little bit of a hard time getting uh, Evil E up. I mean, as you can see, Evil E still working Wait on that strategy. Oh, my God. Soon. Got him up. He got him up. And just like that, it is over. I can't believe he it. Mustered it up the last of his reserve. <laughs> Thomas Andrews trying to shake it off. Definitely a great win for him. There he is, standing tall, one half of the team champions. I'm very impressed that he was able to go through that. I mean, Evil Lee obviously has a strategy in mind. Uh, he might use it next time uh, when they when they lock up. Who knows uh, when that'll be? Obviously, probably next week. These guys are obviously going for the title as hard as they can. And Evil Lee getting a lot of booze there. Folks, uh, stay with us. We've got more action.